Welcome. So what I have is cotangent cubed of t divided by cosecant of t equals cosine of t times cosecant squared of t minus 1. Um, whew, and they want us to verify these. That means make the left side equal to the right side. So one thing we're going to do, you know, make sure we're going to pick one side to simplify at a time. And we want to pick the most complicated. Now, it all kind of depends on what you're going to, what you want to deem as the most complicated. Um, we can kind of make a point for each, each side that they're both complicated. The way that I always like to look at it, I believe it's much easier to get rid of a rational um, expression rather than taking an expression and converting it to a rational expression. So I'm going to pick the left side to simplify. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use what I've worked on to eliminate rational expressions. And then want to make sure that I got to make sure I use my trig identities. And then I want to look ahead. So every single time, I'm not just going to pick random identities and simplify, but I want to pick identities that's going to make it look like the right side. So the first thing is, let's get rid of our rational fraction, right? We know that this is not a fraction. So therefore, on the left side, that can't be a fraction as well. So the first thing I'm going to do to get this off rational fractions, I need to take my denominator and multiply by the reciprocal. Well, the reciprocal of cosecant of t is sine of t. So I'm going to multiply the top and the bottom by sine of t to keep equivalent equations. So therefore, now I have sine of t times cotangent cubed of t. All right? Whew. OK. So getting closer, but not exactly. Now the next thing I can do is, well, I notice that I have cosecant squared minus 1. And here I have cotangent cubed. So I need to look at my Pythagorean identity. And I realize that 1 plus cotangent squared of t is equal to cosecant squared of t. So therefore, we know that cotangent squared of t is equal to cosecant squared of t minus 1. So therefore, this is equal to co uh, cotangent squared. So is there a way from going from cotangent cubed, I can get cotangent squared? And yeah, what we can do is we can break that up to equal cotangent squared. Uh, let's do it this way. We can break that up as a cotangent times t times cotangent squared times t. All right. Now I can rewrite cotangent squared times t as cosecant. So we're getting somewhere. We're starting to get there times uh, cosecant squared of t minus 1. OK, so I'm almost looking at the left side equal to the right side. But to me, I, only have, I have sine of t times cosine of t. And right there on the right side, they have cosine. So the next thing I want to do is, well, what other trig identities can I look for? And you know, kind of think about, well, you could also, our last one we could use is our quotient identities. We can convert cotangent to sines and cosines. So by doing that, I get sine of t times cosine of t divided by sine of t times cosecant squared of t minus 1. Well, what you notice is my sign there is in the numerator. So therefore, I divide those out to equal 1, which is just going to leave me with cosine of t times cosecant squared of t minus 1. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. What you notice is now I have two equations that are equal to each other. So therefore, it is verified. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks again for watching. Bye.